Hi guys, Fresh28 the Great here, and this is another Minecraft tutorial. Hopefully this one will have good audio. So, here it goes. The first thing you do is push play. And if you haven't already created a world, create new, um, a new world. Don't know why it's pulling that up. Create a new world. Okay, um... I do the starting map, but I don't know. Depending on if you want to start out with certain resources, <laughs> I like in this tutorial. I'm not going to do the bonus chest because I want to show you how to craft everything. I'll keep the simulation distance set for chunks to keep from glitchiness and show coordinates. Okay. Tutorial World 28 and create. I didn't know that. A lot of stuff has changed since, uh, the last update. I haven't played in a while, so some of this stuff is going to be new to me. You really should look under the generating world to, um, figure out where everything is. I mean, uh, sorry, I'm thinking about something else, but you really should look under the generating world because it'll show you stuff you wouldn't have known otherwise. Hopefully this isn't an island like the previous map. Nope, not an island. Definitely not an island. Okay, the first thing you do is you mine down a tree. It's especially easy if you spawn right on top of it. If you're on the bottom of the tree, then I'd find some dirt blocks and dope my way up to the top to mine. Because honestly, that's the easiest way to mine. Now that I have eight wood blocks, I'm going to look for some caves. I hope it's still recording. Okay. That's a weird biome. I'm not even sure what the name is anymore because it's been so long since I've played. But it's a very strange biome. Okay, I hope that that's a cave over there. Whoops. I'll mine this block to get up. And this one here. The great thing about Minecraft is it's you're not just stuck with having the world a specific way. You can change the world. Berries. Those will be a good thing to grow. Sounds like there are a ton of skeletons down there. Okay. I hope I don't just fall in or something. Because then I'd be stuck there. With all the skellies. Wow, so there's a whole skeleton spawner cage. Skeleton spawner cages are 
like these things where they're like these cages with a monster inside and it spawns other monsters. Yeah, there's definitely a big one there. Okay. This I don't think will be a very good thing. Okay, I need to... Where is that recording thing? Okay, I'll just ignore it since I can't even figure out where it is. Okay. Wooden pickaxe, so oh, didn't mean to get to. So, you do that by having three wood and two sticks the wood on top in the top three spaces and the sticks on bottom okay more wood planks sticks and I'll make a stone pickaxe so the way you make a pickaxe is Always like this, three blocks on top and two sticks. The blocks can change, but it's always built the same way. Wow, it sounds like there are a ton down there. Okay, uh... Once you've mined some stone, then you'll want to go back and make a sword if there are that many skeleton noises. Coal is something that you're really going to need to mine. It's the only way of making good light sources early in the game so you're not just crawling around in the dark. So sometimes people ask what to do if you fall into somewhere and it's dark. Simple. Go to the options and turn up the brightness. What else would you do? I remember, that was actually a serious question early in the game. I'm not sure why. It seems just like common sense. Just turn up the brightness. So I'll place some torches here. You make them with putting one coal directly over one stick. Okay. Here is iron. After you get stone, the next thing you'll want to mine is iron. I don't hear the skeleton noises any anymore. I wonder where they went. Yeah, uh, that's where they're coming from. Somehow I can tell where the sound comes from on my Kindle. I'm not sure how. Okay, um... Die, 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 die. More iron. Your health will regenerate as long as your hunger bar is full or almost full. There's gravel up here. Don't mind gravel if it's directly over your head because then it'll fall on you and squash you. There's another cave up there, but I want to go deeper, not higher. 
Now there's a lot more skeleton noises than that. Mm. Where's the rest of those? Skeletons are probably one of the first actually dangerous mobs that you'll ever meet. They're mostly only dangerous to new players, but if you meet enough of them, they can be dangerous to anyone. But if I were new to playing, then I wouldn't even mess with one of them. At least not until I had a stone sword. I learned my lesson a long time ago about trying to mess with skeletons without a sword. I got very close to dying once, and then once I'd won, another skeleton came and shot me, so... I really wouldn't mess with skeletons until I have a sword. Okay. Here's more iron. You can survive with stone stuff for quite a while. But eventually you want to take that iron and put it in a furnace and melt it down into little iron ingots. Okay, now here's coal. I really don't have enough coal right now. I wonder how the name coal came into existence. Did someone want their son to be a coal miner or something? Doesn't sound likely. Coal mining is a very dangerous thing. In real life, anyway. In Minecraft, it's not too dangerous. Diamond mining, diamond mining is the hard part. Well, I'm really far down. You'll see the middle coordinate on the position thing. That is how far down you are. Ground is somewhere between 50 and 70 generally. And you'll find diamonds at 20. 20 I think it is. Somewhere around 20 don't remember the exact statistics, so don't quote me on that, but somewhere around 20. I hear more skeletons. Are they coming from this way? No. Coming from the other way, I think. Okay. No, I'm really deep down here. Yep, and that's the skeleton sound. Hear it some more. No, when you get this deep, there's lots of cool stuff to find. This is where diamonds will be. Okay, now I'm going to... Look at how much wood I have left. Not enough, apparently. And I'm going to 
Do I need to make another crafting table too? Ugh, that'll spin some wood. Now, I'll take this table. And I'll put it down. Put the torches back in that hand. Oh, the way you want to organize things is to have first your sword, because it does the most damage to things that you're attacking, and then second the thing that does the second most damage, and so on for your tools. And then you have um, torches first or second from first. for the last two spaces, and then you have, uh, any food items. So I'll make a furnace. No, we don't want to make another furnace. That was close. Okay, uh, we'll put fuel in here. Coal is good fuel. It's probably the best unless you get buckets of lava and put them in here. The other stuff like blaze rods is just... That stuff's just expensive. Not really worth it. But with lava, all you have to do is go find a pool, fill up several buckets, and... You'll have enough to melt like everything in the minecraft world this is lapis lazuli it's useful for people who want to enchant things here is redstone Okay, I'm going to try to get back up there, I think. We'll make a little base down here. I'll block off this area and make it a little room. Okay, I didn't mean to drop that. And this is going to be a little base. That was an Enderman. He is like, uh, almost like a mini boss. Really powerful, and although only a 50th as powerful as the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon is like beating 50 of them. Still really annoying. The Ender Dragon is second biggest boss in the game. The biggest boss is the Wither. There he is. As long as you don't look at him, he probably won't do anything. If you look at him too long, he'll growl at you. And then I'll attack you, so definitely don't look at him. If you wear a pumpkin on your head, kind of strangely, then they won't attack you if you look at them. Accidentally looking at them is something that's unavoidable. You're gonna do it at least once in the game. And they'll teleport behind you and attack you from behind. Okay. Here it is. Okay, I hope I can find a way to the surface. 
this way. I hear a ton of skeletons. Still don't know where all that noise could be coming from. And it's getting dark. I wouldn't suggest going out at night with anything besides good armor if you're not, like, a pro at the game, so... I just have a bad sword, so... Don't know if I am going to survive this, but... Here it goes. I'm gonna do some mining. What time is it? 11.48. Wait, is it sunrise? Did I spend all that time in the cave? I think I did. Okay, I'll wait until the sun is up and then I'll end this video. Remember, the first thing you need to get is wood, and then you need to get stone, and then iron, and the last and hardest is going to be diamond. I'm so glad this isn't an island, because several times I've gotten halfway through a video and then realized I was on an island. Okay, I'd mine 60 for wood or so, but I'll have to save it for next time. I'll kill a cow for if I need anything to eat. And, bye.